Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tong. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install Grand Theft Auto 5 on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac via crossover. So the crossover version of this game is going to have much better performance than Parallels and we can now actually use our legit Rockstar Games Launcher version of this and we can actually install this properly and also play multiplayer online as well. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing that we're going to need to do is to install Crossover 21 Beta. So I'm going to leave a link to this tutorial in the description. And once you've made a purchase, you'll be able to access access the beta center and we can download the latest crossover 21.1 beta. So when we've got our crossover beta installed or crossover 21.1 or any version of crossover that's after this and they've already patched the fixes for Rockstar Games launch it into the main branch of crossover. What we need to do is to click here, install a Windows application. Then what we're going to do is type in Rockstar Games Launcher. So what we want is to make sure that we have the installer and the bottle. So most importantly, we want a Windows 7 64-bit bottle and we want the bottle to be separate from any other bottle that we've got already. Then we press continue here and then press install. So this is gonna download all of the dependencies that Rockstar Games Launcher needs to work on crossover. So if any windows pop up, click agree here, click install, close, click agree and then install, close. So now we've got the Rockstar Launcher install window here. We're gonna click continue and continue and continue. And then we're gonna leave this default location and press continue. And now we're gonna click close. Now that's complete, we press done. And then we can see Rockstar is launching in the background. Here we're just gonna press cancel. And then what we wanna do is to go to our Grand Theft Auto 5, and then we can click the download now button if you've already purchased it through the Rockstar Games Launcher. So if you do have so if you do have GTA 5 as part of your account and you've purchased it already, you can actually click the install button and then this will just download and install the software for you. Or you can actually buy it now through here. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you should be able to run it just fine. The main setting to be aware of is that you need to turn the bottle setting on here. And then when you go to the Rockstar Games Launcher, control click on here, go to settings. And just make sure that the DXVK backend for D3D11 is turned on. Otherwise this game won't be able to launch. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.